my soul is tormented by a sucky bitch. Call her sis, pants who dripping from the way I spit. Fell in love with this, sis got music, now she in my grips. Wanna take a sip of her only signs and sips? No. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's Black Guy Senpai. Well, I go by just Senpai now these days. Anyway, I'm here today with a very, very different type of video. It's gonna be short, it's gonna be sweet. I'm actually just gonna be covering some, uh, some JP premium results that you're not actually gonna have to try to dig around and, uh, and get translated. So, without further ado, let's go. Uh, first, this, these results come from, uh, Akiba Games. It had, uh, 16 people, and the deck that won the entire event was Blasters. Uh, definitely looking like they're taking advantage of the new Twin Sword, which I believe is really, really great. Especially in an alt mile deck where it can reach its full potential, I think that's what it was designed for. But still works wonders in blasters because you still have a, uh, you know, the outfit that gives a blaster a rear guard or uh, twin drive. You got the Gantelot that gets you a triple guard or quad drive. I think I forgot what it was. Um, you got alt mile that still calls out stuff. You got ultima that still calls out stuff, and then you got crimson chin just in case you get locked. And then you know standard royal paladin, not that good G guards. Uh, let's get on to the main deck for that deck. Um, the only thing that's really in here from V era is uh, two uh, two perfect guards and uh, the new MLB, the Messiah Lord Blaster. But it looks like it's still trying to play like the old MLB because he has one copy of Blaster Dark in here. And then the rest of it... Oh, no, I missed this card over here. Uh, I forgot what this card's name was, so if anybody knows, you know, let me know. And uh, Blaster Dagger, they're using that. Uh, a couple Strider Enablers, Blaster. Hmm, I want to say Javelin, but I know that's not Javelin. Anyway, so yeah, that was the. This is the deck that did win the uh, Cuba Games for 16 people. Next, uh, this one won Torricano uh, Grand Prix for the Akiba Qualifier. It had 32 people. And this is, uh, this deck profile is for Gastille NLK. Um, I'm thinking that people over there are figuring out, you know, how to actually play against the deck. And it looks like they're doing it with Protect 2. I do see the Protect 1s down here, but Protect 2, I think, would actually, like, bring this deck up some. Because this stride, I've played against it with one of my friends, uh, Zay, and he's never gone past this stride. If he gets this stride off, it's either he kills me, if I survive, then I kill him. It makes huge lanes, like, an upwards of, like, 80k, that's the lowest I've ever seen him swing for, to over 100k. And if he does not get, uh, No Life King and, uh, Moth, uh, Master of the Fifth Element into the deck, uh or into the soul then you know it's pretty much over but this deck is very consistent in at least getting that much and uh here's the main deck two copies of master the fifth element three of this rare which i forgot what it does um but you know you guys are more than free to look it up or call me out in the comments for it uh four no life kings one assassin one v starter two bobos which are great it's a nice controlling um Four of this guy that goes ahead and he fetches you. Where's the grade one? Doesn't look like he's playing the grade one so he can counter charge. But Dimension Creepers, Werewolf, Doreen the Thruster. Um, and it looks like for the heals and draws, V triggers. And then still run the stand and you still run the old crit. Oh no, this is the new crit. I'm sorry. But yeah, overall it looks solid. Uh, I actually would like to try this in premium when I do. Um, get a premium locals and start playing so next the results that we have are from a VGCS over in Malaysia which had 72 players first place deck for that Luard um, this Luard deck does look very very interesting it looks exactly how I pretty much imagine it would um, with this I'm imagining being the entire driving force behind the wins. Well, this and this, and then this, and this, and then, um, yeah, and then just being able to stride for free, essentially, for, like, forever, then having the best perfect guard from G era, and then, you know, busted, busted this card to get you more free cards, because who doesn't like free cards? 
Um, and then what was considered the best crit trigger from that time period. Anyway, but yeah, this is the the lure deck. It got ended up getting first place out of the 72 people. Like I said, this was for a VGCS. Next, second and third place were Nova Grapplers, both the Victor variants. Um, <clears throat> with the premium collection stride, it makes this deck super nutty, especially with the optional clauses, the new optional clauses for uh, for once per turn effects. It makes this deck like bonkers, and you don't really see this too much in a deck anymore, Seabreeze, but this deck really wants to start punishing you, and restanding and punishing. So, and they have enough counter charges in the deck to do so, so it really doesn't matter. So like this, Winning Champ, GB8, I uh, can't remember this guy, Rakhtome, uh, Favorite Champ, Mediokaiser, and uh, this is the guy from the Premium Collection. Guy from Premium Collection, he can easily deck you out, I would not recommend running him as a 4 of. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the third place list, which is pretty much identical to the first, or to the second place. Um, so yeah, again, this is a, well this one, the way this one differs is, this one's playing uh, Victor and it's playing the new Beast Deity guy, or Lumino, whatever his name is. Let's see if this one's playing it, yeah, this one's playing it too. This one's just playing three, and this one's going full on 4-4. Four, four. So yeah, essentially these decks are almost the same but they're both really good, so don't look down on them uh, if you're starting to play premium. This is actually, I think this deck is pretty cheap right now, especially since this set hasn't come out in America where we get this guy. So go ahead, check him out, pick him up. Um, the only expensive cards I think in this deck are the Xeroth Dragon. Um, and by expensive, I mean cards that are over 20 bucks. Uh, Xeroth Dragon, maybe Kulshaki, maybe uh, this guy, uh, the Pregnant Dragon, obviously, but it's not out in America yet. Um, maybe these guys, these guys might be teetering 20. So, you know, if you want you guys go pick those up. And the fourth place deck, which, you know, I haven't seen this deck in, I think, the last two weeks of premium results. Ikishimi Tom, Ikishima Tom, whatever, however you pronounce it, but yeah, this deck is still a threat, don't get it twisted, um, it's pretty much just standard plus and then Ikishimi and Tom, Toms are probably about, I think, like, what, two bucks now, so go ahead and pick those things up while you still can, same thing with Ikishima, especially with, uh, the Revival Collection out, like, I think the Revival Collection Ikishimi is, uh, I think like ten dollars so yeah I would definitely pick her up if I could if you guys could um, and then the most of it's just like the Magus trial like stuff the old perfect guards these are definitely cheap um, old promo those are like two bucks um, let's see what else yeah and they're actually playing Magus and then the CEO or not CEO but uh, Imperial Daughter Deer so yeah that was it for that event for the Malaysia VGCS. And uh, the last of the premium results we have for this weekend um, is was from Carl Card World in Akiba. Had 32 people. The deck that won that event was uh, Neo Nectars, the cheaper of the variants. It was pretty much just standard plus Maiden of Trailing Rows, taking advantage again of the uh, Premium Collection 2019 stride. That thing abuses tokens like no other, and it makes sense why Trailing, Ro why Trailing Rose would be in this deck as the center focus, because she does produce uh, two uh, plant tokens on uh, on Ride. So you go ahead, you Ride, you get that, then you Stride, and then you do everything that you need to do in the Onecta deck. And this card I haven't seen since the G-Era Trial deck, which was... Which is kind of nice, because you know, you get to counter blast one when it's boosted, and then you get to copy a unit that's already on board, or a rear guard that's on board, so you can accept for herself. So, you could essentially get, like, a really good play. You go ahead and counter, like, you attack with this guy, counter blast one, um, and then copy him, call him over himself, and then he gets that extra power boost again. Or you could do it with, uh... 
uh, Tansy Musketeer right here get you another token or you can do it with tomato and then tomato can uh, obviously make more tokens so that way you can uh, well that's if tomato lives if you don't sacrifice enough but yeah um, thank you guys for watching or listening wherever you're from whenever you're from and uh, if you want to like hear and or see more premium content from my channel because that's where I'm going with uh, with Vanguard for now Go ahead and hit that like, hit the subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.